Well, a horrific rollover crash in West Seneca killed a 17 year old on Mother's Day. And tonight we are learning more from police and witnesses about what happened. Good evening. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. Half a dozen teenagers were in the car when it crashed, and now we know the teenager who died had been behind the wheel. Two on your side's Emily Lampa has the full update from police today, and Emily investigators are struggling with this too. Mary Alice Scott, considering the pretty horrific nature of what these first responders witnessed yesterday, it's understandable that both the fire and police departments are now making grief counselors available tomorrow night should any of them need support. I have a 17 year old son graduating from high school this year, so it, uh, it's personal for us. Lieutenant James Unger was clearly emotional today, relaying information about the crash, which claimed the life of 17 year old Tyler Wachowski. Our deepest sympathies and our hearts go out to the victim's family. A memorial with messages and flowers marks the spot at the corner of Fisher and Langner where the car crashed and rolled over. The car landed on its roof a considerable distance away up this driveway marked with yet another memorial. And that's where police say the car caught on fire. Burn marks in the grass and on the pavement, painful confirmation of what happened here. The vehicle was fully engulfed in flames. It was just before 5.30 Sunday morning when the crash woke the family living in the house. Kelly Galino's boyfriend was, was the first out the door to help really the teens. Shock, like, it was like waking up to a horror movie. The kids were shocked. Everybody was bleeding. Um, they were just out of it. Police say Wachowski had been behind the wheel. He didn't make it out. It's horrific. And the dad came last night a couple times. I just pray for the families because they're the ones that are probably suffering the worst right now. Based on where the car landed and the damage to the vehicle, investigators believe speed was a factor in this crash. And while they wait for the outcome of the autopsy and toxicology, alcohol has not been ruled out. There was evidence of empty beer and liquor containers at the scene. While Wachowski was from Sloan, the passengers in the car are from West Seneca. West Seneca East and West both had extra counselors Monday. Um, and we'd like to get the message out about how important seatbelts and driving safely are. Being that there are six people in the car with only five possible seat belts, we know at least one of them wasn't. Galino says something needs to be done about this dangerous intersection. They just fly through and I've actually called the police a couple times just to say, hey, like, we live here. What kind of calls for service do you have to this area? Have there been crashes similar to this in that area before? There has been, yes. Um, as a matter of fact, that, that house, that residence where the, the vehicle crashed, um, used to have an adjoining garage. That garage was moved to the rear of the property because it was uh, struck before. Now the five teens who survived this crash, they went to area hospitals to be treated on Sunday. Four have since been released. While it is still very early in this investigation, if detectives do find someone had provided those teens with alcohol, Lieutenant Unger says that person or persons could potentially face charges for this deadly crash. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.